my name's Cathy Smith and I work in the classified department in advertising sales. Firstly, thanks Sam for the nomination. Your cake tasted beautiful. I'm going to do a Victoria sponge cake. I think it's a good old English classic and I think it's brilliant with a brew and it's still easy to make. So firstly, you need obviously all your ingredients and then you also need to grease um, two tins. <laughs> Nick, stop laughing. But first we do need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees. So I'm just using my grease proof paper. Is it grease proof paper? And I'm just gonna use some unsalted butter. Can't have too much. Is that too much? So all I'm gonna do is a really simple recipe where you literally just throw everything in together which is my favourite type of method, if I'm honest. This is really hard to open. <laughs> <laughs> Might be best to get some scissors for this bit. I'm in. Wow, I'm so 175. Do the flour. Slightly more. Probably don't watch me cut it off the side. Obviously, be careful not to get any shell in. As you can see, I haven't used this machine much. Ah. So now I'm going to put this in my ready-made sandwich tins as I did earlier. So we're looking golden brown slash slightly burnt because I'm going to take them out. Oh. Whilst the cakes were in the oven, I realised that we haven't actually used flour to line the tins, but icing sugar. So just a tip, I'd recommend checking what you've got in your shaker tin before you do that there. I've got 115 grams of icing sugar and 55 grams of unsalted butter, and just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract for the buttercream. Writing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to get the buttercream and put it on this side of the cake. Make sure you get it nice and even and to the edges then it looks good when you put the other sandwich on top. It says to use three tablespoons of jam. <laughs> Probably not the best jam to use, but hey, at least it's real. Also, I've just realised it's probably easier to put it on this one first. So yeah, much easier to spread, as you can see. I am going to put the kettle on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the recipe, and you might even make it yourself. Um, without all the mistakes in the middle. I nominate James Ricard, who is our machinery editor.